All right, so back into our dry samples. I want to turn this into a vocal chop since we haven't done that yet. Double click our sample. Let's borrow the effects plugins from this top channel here. And I'm going to copy this audio effects rack and paste it onto this channel. And I'm going to copy and paste this plugin OTT as well and replace these UAD reverbs with something a little bit more synthetic sounding. Drop our reverb here and make it a longer reverb. All right, we're going to pitch this sample up with the transpose knob in Complex Pro. All right, so slice your samples. Now I'd like to record an empty clip to draw the MIDI notes into. Okay. All right, this little headphone button helps us hear our notes while we edit it, which is really nice. All right, I'm going to open this MIDI clip and snap these notes to an eighth note. Much better. Much tighter. All right, I want to give the loop a pumping effect, so I'm going to open up Shaper Box 2 in our plugins folder. All right, choose the volume shaper, quarter notes. Turn down the mix a bit. Okay, let's add a low cut to our sample here at the bottom as well. Yeah, maybe some distortion. Yeah, I love that. fade the sample to avoid any clicks, which is really important. You don't want clicks in your loops. All right, let's copy this first note and uh, put it to the end so that we can have an even loop. All right, that sounds amazing. Let's export this. Let's mix the dry version now since we don't have any dry loops. Uh, let's turn off all of these effects plugins. That's a perfect dry loop.